Uh, awesome. Well, you guys head back to do whatever your next thing is. We'll go back to the cell. How's your chat going? Aleda, how much have you brought out? What are you doing? Um, so I brought out an obscene amount of aromatics. So we've got um, dried like rose petals, pansies, edible flowers that you might put onto salads. Uh, I've got cinnamon. I've got um, basil. I've got like a bunch of like very dried stuff. Um, this is all edible and I'm smelling it and I'm like, yeah, that's, I'm still baffled and I'm still concerned and I still don't want to eat any of this. Um, I'd like to enlist Bastion to start crushing it into powder. You're um, very strong, aren't you? Would you help me out? Of course. Uh, deadly. Excellent. I have my co cooking utensils. Um, I start grinding everything into a powder. Uh, this will probably take a few hours if we're given the opportunity. I have not ever had the occasion to eat food. And he puts a stick of cinnamon and starts, like, grinding it in his teeth. Oh, that's very effective. Wow. Yeah, I'm, this is, when we get back on the ship, you are going to help me out in the kitchen. This is wonderful. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep pounding these into, into fine powder as much as I can. Uh, out of uh, curiosity, mm -hmm. Alita, what what comes out of this bag here? Like, is it just food? Uh, well, see, this isn't mine. It's Hikari's. Uh, she did give it to me, but I rejected it. I have some trust issues when it comes to food with a magic basis. Um, haven't had some good experiences, uh, and I don't wish to repeat them. Other people have eaten things from it. They seem fine. I just, personally, not for me, but making uh, aromatics. You know, I, I got that peppermint earlier to uh, clean up the the hole. Ah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. It smells yeah. way better now. Thank you. Um, so, you know, just uh, some aromatics and um, I think it'll come in handy. Have you ever tried pulling anything like a poison mushroom out of the bag or something that could be a detriment to an enemy? I think it's specifically only edible things. So poison mushroom technically isn't edible as one could not digest it and survive on it. Perhaps it would be edible to someone who could have the system for it, but I think it's specifically magically geared so that you, you would have to think of the thing as food. Mm. But so for you, you might not be able to pull anything out being that you don't eat. I don't know, did you want to try something? I pulled oil out yesterday. Oh, right, yes. So maybe mm. things that are consumable Perhaps. Yeah, I don't think you could pull anything out that's specifically poisonous, which I, I do have some experience with poison. Um, I do know how to make them, and I've harvested poisons before from mushrooms and snakes. Um, oh, that reminds me. I, like, start repoisoning. Oh, and any extra daggers that I've gathered, I, I just kind of, like, dip them into, to, like, my little poison bag to prepare them and let the poison dry on them. Oh, no, I, I can't do that. I don't have my daggers. Oh, yeah. I, no, you don't. The um, I don't have them. But if I'm you want... That to roll, roll a d8, okay. and we'll see that whatever that number is, is how many daggers you gathered. Three. Three more daggers. Great, thank you. Um, I'm just working on a little project here. I don't know if it'll work, um, and I'll, I'll probably, I'd like to consult everyone when they're back and see if it'll work. Do you have receptacles for these once I'm done chewing them? Um, nope, we can just gather the powder in this area over here. I mean, I guess I could gather it, like, on my apron kind of thing. Like, just any powder, just on the... I put my apron on the ground so that we have, like, a kind of area that's not flat on the ground. We'll try and scoop it out and... Yeah, <laughs> grind it over top, just making powder. You know, Bastion, uh... That doesn't make it more appetizing. I... <laughs> like I'm getting this robotic baby bird thing going on right now, and uh, you're mimicking a lot of birds doing this, so... It doesn't have to be appetizing. Uh, we're going to burn it. I also don't have any concept of what appetizing is. Yep. You're fascinating. Oh, Dietrich's back. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Did anyone see Mac? Did anyone recover him? Oh, I was supposed to do that when no. we got talking. Oh, I'm sorry. I asked you to do this. Go find him. Dietrich, okay. did you see Mac? No. He is missing. Greya said that he'd she'd find him. 
Yeah, I can go find Mac. That, that'll be my job. Okay. I think someone should Hello. go with her. Oh. Yeah, no, uh, Kelly, you're just going to go with Bria. <laughs> just okay. wanders out innocently of this cell. No! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, he's going to go with her. I did see Greya touch a man and kill him today, so I'm not sure that she needs anyone to look after her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that made me uncomfortable. It was absolutely incredible. Thomas from the bed is like, yeah, that was fucking weird, but cool. I don't know if I liked it. Um, We don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. Yeah, I don't think I want to. I don't think I want to do it again either. I mean, I will if I have to, but I didn't like it. It is uh, fine to... Sorry, go ahead. It's fine to use your... Well, Dietrich, you know, you also kill people with touching them. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that I do that. I would. Didn't that ogre fall down after you touched him? You definitely times? killed that ogre. In it's a very applied touch. <sighs> oh, good. Okay. <laughs> Thomas from laying down is like, Gray, I think it's fucking cool, and I think you should. And like, while he's saying that, William like s smacks him. <laughs> and then Thomas is like, I think you should, I fuck, not talk about it, I guess, even though it's fucking cool. Gray, you are too good for this world and this arena situation. I, you are too good. Thank you. Um, I think. Thank you. Okay. Uh, do so you head out to look for Mac? Yep. Cool. Kelly, you're going to? Yeah. Um, great. You know Mac a little bit better than myself. Do you know where he would have gone? Um, what would have grabbed his attention? No, Mac just does a lot of things that I don't understand most of them, so... Yes, I've noticed that too. <laughs> Um, uh, do you guys... we look around and we ask people, somebody must have seen him. Uh, you guys can do a perception check if you want, like, once you get, like, out to the main area. Okay. Uh, 18. Cool. 24. Whoa. Uh, so you both see him. He's just wandering around the square, just aimlessly, just, like, looking at things and, like, nodding. He'll see something and like laugh to himself, and it's like something that like doesn't make sense to laugh at. Like he'll see like a rock on the ground and he'll just laugh, and then he'll keep walking. Uh, and he's really just wandering around. That rock told a great joke. <laughs> Is he drawing attention to himself? Um, there's enough just kind of weird people and stuff going on that like not too many people notice him. All right. Can we go up to Mac? What's that? Yeah, can we, can we go up to Mac then? Yeah. Uh, you walk up and he's like, Oh, hello, I was just getting to know the townspeople. And he points at out the rock that he was just laughing at. I, oh, I, that's nice. I see yes. Did the nice. rock tell a funny joke? Yeah, he's got some good stories. He's seen a lot of things here. Oh, that's great. Um, it's nice that you're making friends. Oh, I make friends everywhere I go. Did you speak to anyone else, Mac? Oh, I spoke to lots of people. There's a whole crowd of them over there, and he points to, like, a rock pile. Were they informative? Uh, those ones were a little dense, to be honest with you. Uh, they're 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 good people, but uh, not not great to have a conversation with. I could see that. Okay, well, we were just wondering where you were, so we could um, <laughs> so we could just make sure everyone was in one place. But it's nice that you're getting to know people. Um, I like making friends too. I know that, and that's what I like about you, Graham. I like. I think we're real good friends. We are, Mac. I'm so glad we're friends. Well, if you want just watch you have interaction, like. <laughs> if you want me to go join the rest of the group, I, I can do that. That's no problem. Okay. Uh, and he just walks back with you. 
All right, awesome. Uh, Mac and Greya are hilarious combinations. <laughs> Two people who have no idea what's going on. They're so good. Uh, cool. So you get back up to the cell. Um, has has Alita made any progress with whatever the heck she's doing? <laughs> like, uh, can I see what she's doing? Do I understand? Uh, can I just say that I've made like a gigantic pile of aromatic powder. It's essentially very ground down potpourri at this point. Um, great. Uh, and, uh, and now I am, uh, like, is everyone, it, so everyone's back in the cell? Yep. Excellent. Um, so, um, I wanted to discuss with everyone first. Um, we are talking about tactics. Uh, I was thinking perhaps one of the best ways there, there's not really a way to win without potentially hurting your brother, Keladir, and we don't want that. Um, we may not want to go into battle at all. I mean, I don't know how many more of these people are forced and how many of them want this blood sport. Um, I've created a gigantic pile of incense, which is the spell component that, with your help, we could probably send this entire island to sleep. Um, well, there are some beings I know that have resistance to spells. Um, some people with uh, spellcasting abilities might have constitution, sa might be able to save it due to their constitution makeup. Um, the stone golems would not be affected by it, but I think it would be I think it might give us a good shot of escaping. Uh, Thomas sits up and he's just like, well, holy fuck. Maybe you should know back down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we, we would need to do it together. Um, Huron, I know that you have some magical abilities. I don't want everyone to be affected by this, but... I think that we could send as many people to sleep as possible. Um, we fight whoever manages to stand in our way. We rescue who we need to rescue. And we get on the ship and we leave. Or we try and find what we need to came, what we came here for originally. But staying here is not a good option. But I, I want to consult with all of you first. Yeah, I would like if we didn't have to do any more of those, you know, blood sport fights. As would I. The golems would still be a major obstacle. They absolutely would be, which is why we could um, we could try and time this. I don't know when, but that's why I'm we're we're talking strategy. Let's talk strategy. This is what I could bring to the table with all of your help. Hmm. We deploy it all at once. Um, how many like? We've been wandering around this island for a while, like... We have, like, an idea of, like, a number of the amount of golems that are on this island that are guarding it. Um... You can't be sure, but they are kind of everywhere. Yeah. Um... Probably... I'm trying to think. Like, there's probably close to that you've seen at least close to 30. Okay. Um, but like they're everywhere and you can't really tell because they're all the same. When you see them, you don't know if they're the same ones okay. that you saw over here, or you don't know if each area you've been to and you see them, if it's a whole new one or uh, like, it's hard to really tell exactly how many. I have two concerns. Uh, please, please tell us. Um, may, first, um, I'm not sure how comfortable I feel. If we were to do this and escape, we would be leaving everyone else that we do not bring with us. Um, I we would want to try and save, um, uh, like the people that we need to save with us. 
Of they course. would be unconscious, but... But if the fighters here are held against their will, then is it not possible that some of them may not want to be here, same as you? I absolutely case, believe that, yep. We'd be leaving them to continue this with whoever's in charge. Well, potentially we could also yeah, effectively assassinate whoever is uh, in charge of this, hopefully while they're asleep, or at least while potentially guards are asleep. Um, I don't the like- guards the guards aren't the real hindrance. The guards that would be put to sleep aren't the real hindrance. It's the golems who wouldn't be affected. And yes, that's correct. By magical users who wouldn't be offended or affected, who we'd, that's who would be after. Mm-hmm. These golems are not like me in that they cannot think. That stands to reason that someone must be controlling them. Well, they seem to take commands from certain guards, and there's probably an indicator that they have. I wonder, Some... is it like a magic that connects them, or like a... Uh, Perhaps an item? An item? If we could find out how the golems are controlled, we could perhaps sabotage it before the spell. Absolutely. Well, I think that we can gather more in- intelligence. Sorry, Dietrich, I cut you off. Go ahead. Well, I don't know a whole lot about magic, but I do know people. And, I mean, I like to talk to them if you needed me to ask around for things. Absolutely. I think we should all spend as much time as we can gathering some information. I think if we're not immediately up against Kaladira's brother tomorrow, it sounds like we wouldn't be, but I don't necessarily know how long we want to wait. So I think we should spend the rest of the day trying to get as much information as possible. I think as much as gathering information is important, I think Dietrich would be very effective about spreading information as well. Mm -hmm. How do you mean? I'm sorry? I think Kaladir means that Dietrich talks a lot. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, that's fair. It's not not how much Dietrich talks, it's how effectively Dietrich talks. I don't think that I'm much of a gossip. That's not true at all. Uh, roll for a deception? I'm not the DM, but like... <laughs> yeah, I mean, earlier when when you were like... When you were talking to Kelly's brother and were like, Oh yeah, I don't want to know. I, I, would, I would not want to intrude. And I'm just like, no, he does. <laughs> you thought it stated in Port Victor that you loved gossip. <laughs> Dietrich, we, we all saw how you interacted with the town folk in Port Victor and... <laughs> Many people that we've encountered, you're very good at uh, gathering information, and you're very good at swaying people as well. I think if you can get a a feeling for the town and how the, the people who are stuck here are feeling, I think we can come up with a strategy to turn them on our side. I don't think we need to go to such a, a drastic extreme as trying to put everyone to sleep. But in hush tones. I uh I what I don't know that the people of Port Victor, maybe maybe two of them maybe wanted to slug me in the face. But I think a lot of people here might want to. I think people here are so desperate for any scrap of hope we can get, that they might be more willing to listen than you think. We can offer them a way out, or even a a plan for a way out. I think they might be receptive. Uh, William speaks up when when you're saying this, Keldier, and he's like, uh, with all due respect, Calvin, I don't know if talking to people, I mean, yeah, talking to people to get information is good, but I mean, we heard what happened the last time someone tried to lead a rebellion. Mm -hmm. Do we really want to try to get people on our side? I get what you're saying, and like, it would be good to have people, but 
the more people you tell, the less chance I think we have of getting do- this done. I suggest um, perhaps we nip this in the bud and we, we take it out by the root, cut the fish off at the head. Um, to get to the champion, you would have to, or not the champion, the leader of the island, you would have to first find out where they are and escape the prison. Well, we know no, where he resides. We've spoken to brothers already. Yeah. Oh, oh, have you? Oh, yes, Bastion wasn't there for that. Ah. Or was I, so... Yeah. That was... Yes, before we went here. I mean, we I'm could... not much for subtlety, but I can at least try to, you know, put feelers out to see... I get what you're saying, William, that someone might sell us out just to save their own skin. I get that. We at least have one contact on the island who has been here for many, many years and who has probably met most people going through her workshop. Absolutely. She may be able to point us to trustworthy individuals. I think you're absolutely correct, Bastion. Also... If we did want to rally people, having the daughter of the last guy who led the rebellion probably would be a good calling call. Like that call. is very true. Finding a way to control the golems would also be very nice. But that's if that's if Greya is comfortable with that. I know that it's still all very new, Greya, for you. Um, I. I don't know, but I think if it helps us free the people of this island, then I think, yeah, we can, I, I'd be comfortable with it. Okay. Thank you. I think we also have to consider that as far as where we stand on this island, we've only just made it past, what, what do they call it, the entertainment, right? Do we consider that we maybe need to fight in more of these battles to have a reputation that people could believe in? At the very least, while we're here and under their control, we will have to fight as long as we stay here while we gather information or while we talk to people or plan to put everybody to sleep, whatever the plan is. Mm-hmm. And we must be quick about it because if they come looking for us to get us ready for the fight and we aren't here, that will be hell to pay. All right. I mean, I can start now if you want. We do have until the morning before our next fight, presumably. They said no more today. Absolutely. And we all need to eat. Well, most of us. Sorry, Bastion. I'm not. It's true. It is kind of, uh, I mean, I love food, but uh, it's true. I can see how that some people might view it as a bother. Cool. So are you guys going to eat? Are you taking like a long rest and waiting for the next day? Or do you want to start this tonight? What do you say, Captain? I don't think Dietrich should go out and start gossiping, as he said. I think it won't hurt to do some information gathering tonight. Okay. Okay. It might be who was to speak to the Tinkerer tonight to give her fair warning. I think that's a good idea, at least to let her know that we might be planning something. Karen, you've been here the longest. Go talk to her. Sorry, Gray. If you want to repeat that, we, people were talking. Oh, can I, can I go talk to her too? If anything, sure? you should be the one to talk to her. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I will gladly escort you. Okay, that's um, good. Do you know anyone on this island that you think would be a good ally? Uh, Richard, that's a question. Does Huron know anyone that higher up that might be favorable to him? Um, roll. 
call it a history because it's your history. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was a seven. Um, yep, another wait, seven. Any modifiers or anything? No, nope, that is my history that check is, for this area. It. Okay. Um, well, I guess plus died. two because it's my, it's my, uh, if this is coastal, then it's my favorite terrain, but. Um, I mean, even with a nine, you don't, you don't know much. Um, there are. I'll say you don't know anyone specifically, but you definitely know that, like, there are some people that, like, hearing this, they'd be into it right away. Like, any chance of escape. Um, but no specific names come to your mind. People will rally behind this. It's not going to be hard. Uh, it's just to make sure they don't say anything until the right time. But, but anyone anyone will get on board with this if they think there's a strong enough leader that's going to be the thing as long as they have an icon to rally behind but any individual that we can in higher ups to pull strings on no they're all working for the boss I don't think that we have that kind of influence yet but one more battle is under our belt they uh, you'll get somebody but you're right maybe we're not that popular yet and maybe we wait to announce that we have the daughter of the Great Rebellion leader until it's right. Yes, I think that's uh, too important to give up just yet. But if we could let it be known that the champion is with us, mm. I'd, I'd have to speak to my brother, of course. I don't know where he stands. I, I mean, I think he would totally be on board. I, I, I think he would actually quite enjoy that idea. Great. Uh, and another ace in our pocket is our hand. I don't know. It's been years since I played cards. I live here forever. <laughs> uh, is that if we let people know that he's your brother, then that may expedite the fight. If we have a plan for not killing him, but. I guarantee that people might bump us up just to be like that's kind of an exhibition event it, yes ex I think that would might be dangerous too we might be immediately put into battle due to the drama of that if we let that slip okay, I, again something that should be kept under wraps for now just like okay. a the mother. did the you hear something enjoy... different when you're out that would give you that impression you seem very sure of yourself say it again captain sorry that didn't come through did you, did, Dietrich, did you hear anything when you're out that would give you that impression? This is what I meant. You're very good at gathering information. No, I, I just... I rumors. No, it's just that if, I mean, if I was your brother, I would be quite pleased that I didn't have to fight you, you know. All right, that one you're going to have to roll deception on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seven. Uh, 14. Hmm. Do I, can I, can, like, can yeah, I? Yeah, you can roll, roll, uh, an insight, insight against that. Uh, eight. <laughs> yeah, do you trick, you trick them. I just, I think it's a splendid idea, that's all. Well, I should go, I should talk, I should, <laughs> you know, meet some people. No, wait, you can, wait. Mm -hmm. You can see how antsy he is to like, move. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm glad you're so enthusiastic, but you know what you're going to say to everyone. Well, I know what I'm not going to say, so I guess that's what matters. Hikari also, like, when you're lying to Kaladir, is just looking at you like... Like, she doesn't know why we, you would be lying about this. And she's kind of like... <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
so you know what not to say. Yes, you know. And what are you not going to say? Ixnay on the rebellion, eh? And, you know, family matters. And what are you planning on telling people? Well, I thought maybe I could ask around about such things that have happened. Uh, maybe I could ask people if other people have tried it, um, if they think it would ever happen again, or, you know, that kind of stuff. I would, I would be careful to not use the actual word rebellion. Right. All right. Well, I trust you, Dietrich. You should trust me. Dietrich, would it, or Captain, would it make sense for Dietrich to also ask or inquire about whether or not the golems are controlled somehow? Or perhaps that's a question for the Tinkle. I don't know. Uh, it wouldn't maybe, hurt. I can ask. As long as you're not too overt about it, I think, uh, Huron, is this something you should go with Dietrich? You no, it's fine. Him. I can totally <laughs> go by <laughs> myself. <laughs> I, I can I can uh, offer Dietrich some uh, some backup. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I don't mind doing that. Uh, this place <laughs> smells great, and I love it. But uh, you know, oh, we get thank you, thank really you. Really good. It's very good. Uh, thank you. You did a great job. Uh, but, sure? you, know, you, did, you you didn't hurt your knee or something during the fight. You don't want to sit and. Oh no! I, I was ra- I, I, advantage of being a ranged fighter is you don't really get too far into the melee. So I'm fine. I'm really good. I'm very refreshed. Uh, so, but so I'll have to leave this cell and ignore, enjoy the bad smells of the outside. But let's do it, Dietrich. You and me, man. Let's get it done. Sure. Let's go. It'll be great. Great. Yeah, shall we go to the Tinkerer then? Sorry, who, what did, what? <laughs> who so, Bastion, Greya, and Dietrich, probably Hikari, and Huron. Would they all go to the Tinkerer? Uh, Dietrich's not. Dietrich's going to oh, sorry. the crowd of people. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna gonna work the crowd. I think just Greya and I are going to the Tinkerer so far. Great. Sorry, I also stopped because I'm pretty sure someone's partying in the alleyway right beside my house. <laughs> fun! Party and party and yeah, fun, fun. Sorry. Um, Thomas <laughs> kind of sits up uh, and he's like, I'm feeling kind of okay now. Uh, I'm Does he look good. okay? He like, like he's still bruised and beaten, but like he, he doesn't look... Like he he does look rested now. He just kind of looks a little weak. Okay. Um, he's like, I'm pretty good at talking to people. I'll uh, I'm also pretty good at talking to the the rougher crowd. You know, I I fit in with them. So right, it's a party. I'll, Everyone is coming. So maybe I'll go talk. I'm not coming with you. I'm. I think we should talk to different people. Yeah, actually, that's a good idea. There's a certain group of folks that you probably relate really well with. Right, well, I'm gonna ignore that. Um, <laughs> and uh, I'm just gonna go see who I can talk to. I meant, I meant like ship hands and like crewmen, those kind of folks. What do you, what do you people think I was saying? No, I, I Are mean. You I mean, why is it not okay for me to talk to those people? Uh, Look, you can uh, talk to them if you want. I'm just I saying. I think maybe they'll relate better to other members of our party, Dietrich, is what they're saying. There's lots of people to go around. Look, Dietrich, I love you. You know I do. We're from different crowds. So oh, I just think that I would be better to talk to some of the people who would be quick to slit a man's throat, let's just say that. You got a good looking throat. And they'd be happy to jump you, I think. So let me take them. 
Well, but I don't think they would get a chance, but all right. I'm not trying to offend you. Let's, no, let's I put it this way. If we talk to different people, we can cover more ground. Yes. I agree. I'm sorry. Uh, so he just gets up and he kind of like, he's walking slow, but he's coming and uh, William goes with him. Well, this is weird. I'm going to wait outside. Right. Let's go. Bless you. I was honestly, did you guys see the whole process of getting there? It <laughs> there was, was a face difficult. journey. It, was, it really was a story told. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so I think while everyone heads out to start the first steps of this rebellion, we're actually going to end it there. Mm-hmm.